This is an eight point plank variation where we're going to use the arms for reaching and setting the body down while not disturbing the relationship between the rib cage and the pelvis. So you'll get into an eight point plank. You have some options here. We can be a little more closed off to make it easier, but we're obviously not gonna be able to get the hips down. And we could go a little longer and make it a little harder where we do set the hips down. So the first movement is establishing ribs up, pelvis neutral. So you can imagine if you had a big Texas belt buckle on, tilt it towards your chin. And then you can also get that same effect by just lifting the base of the sternum up to the ceiling a little. So we're in kind of a capsular neutral position, ear, shoulder, hip, all in one straight line. And you wanna maintain that straight line through the entirety of the movement. So from this position, this should be somewhat difficult just to hold, and you can explore here and hold. And for the reach, we're gonna slide one arm and forearm forward as we try to set the pelvis or the belt buckle down and the sternum down all the way to the floor if possible. We don't have to go that low. And we wanna do that um, coordinated. So we want them to both touch roughly at the same time. So this would be, a port this would be how it shouldn't look where the hips are still up, and this is how it should look. Mm -hmm. Now to come up is very difficult, especially keeping that capsular organization. So you can just do the eccentric portion first. Bring your hands back to a push-up position. And do the other side. So you can re-up. And notice how my belt buckle line and my sternum touch the ground at the same time. So that is the reach. You can also do it a little closer to make it easier, but it won't, not, neither the sternum nor the belt buckle will touch the floor necessarily. And we just do a nice coordinated reach. This one's a little better for lat activation and serratus activation. And it's more of a stretch than an intense calisthenic movement. And you can also go nice and wide with the knees in more of a frog position and do the same movements. So you can go wider with the knees, narrower with the knees, Big keys are to keep that capsular organization of the ribs and pelvis, ear, shoulder, hip, all in one straight line. Try to touch down these points at the same time if you're going all the way to the floor. And, you know, just do the eccentric portion if it's too hard to come back or you feel any pain, pinching, or discomfort. And if you do have any pain, pinching, or discomfort, uh, leave a comment down below or message us on Instagram or email us at anthroproach at gmail.com if you want to do some remote work or see where your weaknesses are and work through them.